Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. That you, pal? Uh-huh. Oh, boy, what a day. Oh, was it that bad? I guess not really. <laughs> it just seems that way. What's the trouble, Henry? Oh, you know. Sometimes a guy gets tired of all this studying, especially history. School getting you down, huh? Yeah, it sure is. Well, don't worry, pal. It'll pass. Everybody feels like that every now and again. You know, what you need is a new shot of life in your studies. I know that. But where can a guy get that shot? Seems like every time I turn around, I've got a new set of names and dates to try to learn. What's the good of all that detailed stuff, anyhow? <laughs> that's a question that's asked by more students every year than any other. I don't doubt that a bit, <laughs> but that doesn't answer it. Well, pal, look at it this way. Do you know what you want to do when you get out of school? I mean, after you finish college as well as high school? Not exactly. Okay. Now, suppose you end up in a job where you just might need all those facts. That's all well and good for a guy like me, but what about the fellow who already knows he's going to be something where he doesn't need him? Why should he have to worry about him? I think I can answer that one, oh, Sonny. Stumpy, I didn't hear you come in. No wonder you didn't. You got your forehead so knitted up, it's probably closed your ears off. <laughs> Looks like you're really trying to think hard. <laughs> well, I was. I was trying to see why we have to learn all those names and dates and things in history. I can tell you why I think you ought to learn them. Oh, why is that? Well, it has to do with what causes what. If and you know when a thing took place and what happened before it, sometimes you can see why it happened. That's always a lot more interesting than just the fact that it did happen. I'm not... Sure, I follow you. <laughs> what Stumpy means is this, pal. The way some people figure it, most everything that happens is caused by something that happened before it. Now, if I hit Stumpy, I'll hit you right back. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there we have a simple example of what we're talking about. Now, if that's all true, and one thing does cause another to happen, then the knowing of dates becomes important, doesn't it? I guess so. I never thought of it that way. But why is it so important to know what caused different things to happen? Well, Sonny, let's stick to the example Bill just gave you. You mean about hitting you? That's right. Now, let's say he really did wallop me, and I give it right back to him. What are the dates and details of the thing? Dates? That's right. Who did what? To who first? And what happened next? And so oh, on. I see. Well, Bill hit you first, and then you hit him. Yep. Good. Now, what other than the plain old facts of the thing, what did you learn from it all? Oh, I see. I learned not to hit you. I'll probably get the same thing as Bill got, right? Right, Bill. Now you can start to see why studying history is important. Sure. It isn't the historical happenings themselves that are anywhere near as important as what we can learn from them. Mm-hmm. You guys. Boy, thanks a lot. I'll give you another little hint to make that there history more interesting to you, Henry. What's that, Stumpy? Try putting yourself into the picture. Like, uh... 
Well, what are you studying right now? Well, we're on the uh, settling of the far west in this country. You know, uh, right after the Louisiana Purchase and Lewis and Clark and all. Right when both England and America are trying to get the Oregon Territory settled. That ought to be pretty interesting, pal. Yes, sir, sonny. Well, it would be if it weren't for all the names and dates and things. But I think I can get through them now. You uh, should be studying something about the old Oregon Trail. Is that right? That's right, Stumpy. Did you know that that old trail used to run right near here, about four or five miles up on the Shady River? No, I didn't. I wish the teacher had mentioned that. Well, as long as you know about it, you shouldn't have no trouble at all throwing yourself into that part of history. I'll try it. I sure am glad you fellas are around here. I may have fun with my history yet. so tired. Oh, I guess I better get ready for bed. Well, oh, maybe I can finish this chapter. It's only a few pages. Oh, those folks on those wagon trains must have had a hard time. Oh, just think. Oddly made. About 30 miles a day. Look at our supply. See how much we got. Mm, careful, Owen. Makes me nervous when you jump on and off the wagon while we're going. Oh, nothing to worry about. I'm going back to check the water. All right. Hey, how'd you get back here? Let go, mister. I haven't done anything. What is it, Owen? Oh, I'll show you what it is. This here young whippersnapper was hitching a free ride on the back of the wagon. Please, uh, I didn't do any harm. Probably drunk most of our water. I haven't had any of your water. I don't think. Don't you know? Well, I'm not sure. I mean... Maybe you just better jump up before we can get to the bottom of this. <coughs> Honestly, Mrs... Uh... <laughs> what manners. It's been so long since I was called Mrs. Anderson. I'm Dorkin. That's what everyone calls me. And I'm Owen. And this here's our wagon. Where do you belong? It's hard to say. I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. How'd you get aboard our wagon? I don't know. Sounds pretty strange to me. Where'd you join this train? Back in Independence or Council Bluffs? I can't remember ever being in either place. You'd have had to be in one of them. Uh, uh, oh, my. Henry is my name. Uh, Henry Scott. No Scots I know on this trip. Maybe you got in the wrong wagon train by mistake. I really have no idea how I got onto this wagon train. Well, for that matter, how I even got in this gear. He sounds a mighty catch in the head, Owen. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Think he might be dangerous. I don't know. He sounds educated. Uh, probably all that there learning went to his head. Boy, it really is exciting, isn't it? What you talking about, boy? This train. Why, uh, we're on the Oregon Trail, aren't we? That's right. We're on our way out there to the Oregon Territory. 
And you're trying to help get more U.S. citizens than British so that we can claim the territory, right? Well, that's more than I know about it. What you call us? U.S. citizens? We're Americans. I know. Well, don't you call it the U.S. yet? You start to talk funny again, don't you? What do we do? Keep it peaceful till we can. Then Brad can figure out where it came from and what to do with him. Yeah. Just think. Marcus Whitman came out this very way long ago. It hasn't been so long, Henry. Not more than a couple of years, anyhow. What did you hear about Whitman? Oh, we read all about him. Don't you sound educated? Can you read? Sure. I probably ran across Whitman's name, one of them there periodicals back east, then. Oh, no. I mean, something like that. Hey, hey, here comes somebody right now. Don't you know who he is? No. Well, he's the wagon master, name of Brant. Now we're starting to hit some pretty rough country, folks. And better tighten up the lines and we go a lot slower from here to the river. Whatever you say, Brett. It looks like you've got a visitor. Well, we sure do. I'll let you talk to him when we can. All right, keep your eyes peeled for other visitors, ones with red skins. There's pretty good hunting grounds, and we won't be moving very fast. Oh, dear. Yeah, we'll be camping a couple of hours. And it'll be good to stop for a while. Now, you'll have a lot harder trip from here on in. We should start through them mountains tomorrow. The Rocky Mountains? <laughs> That's a good name for them, boy. A good name. Adios. Uh, Henry. Uh, uh-huh. You seem to know a whole lot about this trip. I mean, about getting the territory from England and Marcus Whitman and all in their mountains. How'd you know all them there things? Well... Uh, in a circle! Get into a circle! What's he shouting? Engines! Engines, come on! Engines. We gotta help pull the circle there! Get down! Anything like it my whole life. Uh, all them engines riding around, shooting arrows at us all. I know, folks. Uh, I've been wagon master on a whole lot of trips in the last few years, but you don't never really get used to an engine attack. You sure will play. Running between wagons and giving us help the way you did. Uh, seems like the only one who wasn't really bothered was uh, your young friend here, Henry. Huh? I saw you stand up a couple of times right in the middle of all that fighting. Oh, I wanted to see better. Yeah, you keep that kind of thing up and you might not stop seeing real fast. Yeah, if we hadn't had as much warning as we did, we might all be uh, that way, Owen. Who gave you the warning, Mr. Brett? A oh, fellow that carries the mail west. He passed us earlier in the day, but he came back when he saw them engines coming. Saved our lives, most likely. You have any news from the east? Oh, yes, he did. Oh, almost slipped my mind in all the excitement. Polk was elected. Oh, 54, 40 or 5, he made it. Oh, yeah. that is good news. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure is. That'll not pretty well settle all the trouble about this territory out here. Yeah. He'll get it for us or my name ain't You won't Owen. get all of it. What's that, boy? I said, he won't get all of it. So what do you got on your mind, boy? What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, what's up? Well, he's going to talk to England about all the territory west of the Louisiana Purchase all the way up to Alaska, isn't he? Up to where? I mean, up to the 
parallel, 50, 40 degrees, 40 north latitude? Isn't that what he's going to talk to England about? That's right, 54, 40, or 5. What did you call Alaska? I, I, I guess Russia owns it at this time, doesn't it? You sure are a smart fella, Henry. Yeah, sure are. Yeah, but what makes you think President Polk won't get all that territory for us? Now, we got more settlers out here than England does. We got a lot more other claims to it, too. Right. England has some claim to the territory. Uh -huh. They have traders and some trappers out there. Besides, if we got the whole land, there wouldn't be any Canada up there. Any what? What is it? Sounds to me like you're, uh, like you're old for them uh, redcoats taking the land. Is that right? Not exactly. We'll divide it with England. That's what'll happen. You think we'll give in to England just because of a few mangy trappers? Hey, now, hold on there, Sonny. I don't want to hear anything poorly said about trappers. Stop me. What are you doing here? What do you mean, Sonny? I'm a trapper in these parts, but who are you? How do you know my name? He's a very strange boy, Stumpy. Seems to know a lot about most everything. Aren't you really, Stumpy? I'm really Stumpy. Who are you, really? I'm Henry. Henry Scott. Don't you know me? You know, Bill and the Rangers and, and you and me. You see, Mr. Brett, that's what we're telling you about. Yeah, he just seems to go way off once in a while. I don't recall any Scott, Sonny. You must have me mixed up with some other feller. Yeah, that's uh, probably it. Uh, listen, folks, uh, we better all turn in now. We got a tough day ahead. Yeah. Uh, 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 and uh, Owen. Uh, yeah. Uh, don't worry about this Scott boy. I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> Sure does. Uh, I wondered many times in the past why those redskins never used that valley for an ambush. Reckon I don't have to wonder no more. It sure is a good thing I saw them there. It sure is, Stumpy. Well, now, you're sure they didn't see you? Sure, I'm sure. When I say I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, same old Stumpy. <laughs> I wish you'd get it out of your head that you know me, young feller. Sorry. What are we going to do about those Indians? That's what I'm puzzling out right now, boy. If I knew the answer to that, I'd be a lot happier. And if there's only some way we could go around the valley, well, we could just leave them Indians sit there. Hey! No! What? I just recognized that bluff over there. A and that one. Huh? What are you talking about? We're right near Naughty Pine. I told you he gets that way, Brad, once in a while. You gotta watch him. I even know how to get on the other side of the valley without passing through it. We'll use the trail that the rangers use when they check the fire lanes. I can't make out much of what he's saying, can you? Now, the only part of that that interests me is that he said something about getting around the valley. What was that all about, boy? I said I know how to get around it. Uh -huh. There's a real shallow place in the Shady River. We could take all the wagons and people across and follow the other side of that mountain to where it meets the other end of the valley. 
Did you ever hear of a shallow place in that river, Stumpy? Nope. Come on. Uh, let's ride over there. I'll show you. That well, looks like it's the only way, if it really is a way. Yeah, let's go. Get up there! Come on, Bessie! Go on there! Go on there! Oh, you go! Come on there! Ah, well, that's the last of them. Looks like the engines don't have the smallest idea what we're doing. And I don't know how you ever knew about this place in the river, Sonny. You sure saved a lot of lives by knowing it. That's right. How did you know about it, Henry? You handle yourself like you lived in these parts all your life. Well, of course, that's impossible. Ain't nobody lived in these parts but engines. And me? I didn't even know about this place. If I told you how I knew about it, you wouldn't believe me. Let's just be glad I did. Yeah, I'll go along with that. Yeah, well, it looks like about time to camp for the night. Uh, this looks like a pretty good spot. Lots of protection. Uh, if it's all right with you, Brett, uh, I'll spend the night in your camp. Sure enough, Stumpy. Come on. I gotta get that train started on bedding down. <laughs> My, the country's gotten so nice out here. I know it's harder to travel through, but in a way, that's nicer because you can spend more time looking. I know what you mean, ma'am. Mm. I reckon that's one reason why I like this job of mine. Um, Henry. Yes, Owen? I, well, I owe you kind of an apology. I like to get off the chest. Apology? Yeah, that's right. You see... I, I thought you were, well, uh, out of your head when you first joined us. You, you do say some pretty strange things sometimes, and I... Oh, well, don't even think about it, Owen. <laughs> I have to uh, really stay on my toes to keep from saying things you think were crazy all the time. On your toes? Oh, that's uh, just an expression. <laughs> uh, well, anyhow, after you say it the day to day, I... I just don't care if you are a little queer in the head. I just want you to know. Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, folks, uh, might I have your attention for a little... Uh, <coughs> yep. what is folks? Yep. Thank you. Now, you probably all know that we was almost massacred today by Indians. <laughs> I said almost. Uh, well, we kind of put one over on the Redskins by taking this back way through here. I don't know if you all know that this lad here is the one who saved all our lives. His name is Henry. Yeah. It was him that knew where to cross the river. Yeah. And now, now, hold it down, folks. Hold it down. Uh, I thought we ought to pay a little tribute to Henry here for what he'd done, but it didn't hit me till just now. Uh, how to pay that tribute to him. Yeah. How are you going to do it? How are you going to do it? Well, well, now, wait a bit, and I'll tell you. Oh, you don't have to do anything. Now, you just simmer down, fellow. We all appreciate what you did, and we want to thank you. You yeah. sure are done. You right, right. 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 Now, it seems like I heard Henry call that river we crossed by a name this afternoon. Pretty good name at that. Uh, he called it the Shady River. And it seems to me like we just ought to officially name it that for all time. Good. Yeah, so there you are, Henry. Uh, you might kind of call it your own river now. The Shady. Sure did shade us from them engines. <laughs> Is that really how it got its name? You just heard it, boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> just think. The Shady River was named by me all these years ago. What are you talking about? What's the matter, boy? You, you feel all right? Looks like he's in a daze. Hey! Wake up, boy! Henry! Wake up! Huh? What? Henry! Wake up! <laughs> you sure must like to study, young feller. <laughs> Stumpy? Where... Where'd everybody go? 
Looks like you fell asleep over your book, pal. You saw your light still on. Looks like uh, all he said about how to study history so to be more interesting didn't work. Stuff still puts you right to sleep. Sleep? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that must be it. <laughs> wow. Did I ever have a dream? Well, that sometimes happens when we go to sleep, Henry. I know, but what a dream. Hey, you were in it, Stumpy. Huh? You were a trapper in the Old West. Well, you don't say. Did I make the list, Henry? I don't remember you, Bill. Boy, was it ever realistic. I was on a wagon train going out to the Oregon Territory. There was an Indian attack and everything. <laughs> I said you should put yourself into those historical situations, Henry, but... Uh... Maybe this is carrying things too far. We were right near here in the dream. I even recognized a couple of mountains outside of town. Well, that's not hard to understand, pal. It isn't? No. You remember earlier when Stumpy told you that the old Oregon Trail used to run nearby Knotty Pine? You uh, probably just remembered that, and it was an area you were familiar with. I'd kind of like to see where the old trail used to be now. Just to see if it's where it was in my dream. Uh-huh. That might be fun. We'll have to ride out there one day soon. I'll show you. Of course, we might have a little problem. Problem? That's right. You see, the old Oregon Trail used to go nearby here in two places. Two places? Uh-huh. I don't think anyone knows why for certain. But there's a legend that the southern trail was used for many years until a tribe of Indians tried to ambush a wagon train. In a valley? Near where the trail crossed the Shady River? That's right, Henry. Hey! I thought you said you didn't know about the trail being near Naughty Pine. I didn't. At least I didn't think I did. Do you know any more of the story, Bill? Well, only that the ambush didn't come off. It seems the wagon train started the new route a little ways up the river and skirted the valley, leaving the Indians just sitting there. I can't believe it. Seems to me, uh, the way I heard the story, it was uh, sometime around then that the Shady River got its name for uh, shading that wagon train from trouble or something. I really can't can't believe it. What's the trouble, pal? Pal, stop me. I named the Shady River. <laughs> uh, well, boys and girls, dreams sure can play tricks on you, can't they? Sometimes something you've heard long ago and in an offhand way can be the subject of a whole dream. Well, hope you got as much out of Henry's history as he did. And we'll see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Pan! Ranger Bill was produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago.